Hello, good morning. I hope that you had a very Merry Christmas. This is the last floss tube of 2023. The year has gone around so quickly. Quite amazing, really. Um, it's been a very busy year for Hands Across the Sea samplers. Um, we brought out two red boxes. We had Letters for Europe and Words for Wisdom. And we also brought out lots of new products from tea towels to aprons to tote bags, all sorts of things. And it was great fun um, planning uh, and producing some different items. I think my favourite item had to be um, these cushions. They are just so lovely. I have a set on my uh, stitching chair and I have some um, in a lovely armchair in one of our guest bedrooms as well. Very, very pretty. The cushions were reversible. There's two samplers on there and they came in pairs. Very, very pleased with those. Um, going forward in 2024, New Year um, sees many of us make a New Year's resolution. And um, something that I'm going to do for 2024 is to make workshops and lectures more accessible to people that um, are unable to travel to events, um, whether it's because of the logistics of traveling, maybe leaving somebody at home who relies on them, or because of budgets. Um, I don't like the thought of anybody missing out and it's something I've given a lot of thought to about the logistics of um, making workshops and lectures available online. But 2024, we'll see the start of Mrs. Parkman's Academy of Needlework. And in 2024, um, I plan to have some uh, little events that everybody can participate in. Um, Needlework for me is a journey and I always like to um, discover new things, push myself, step out of my comfort zone um, and you know generally just grow and progress and learning is such an important part of moving forward. Um, so Mrs Parkman's Academy of Needlework will focus not on learning about the history of samplers, the stories behind these samplers, but about learning um, new stitching techniques. Um, lots of exciting things planned. Um, in January, uh, we will be releasing two um, things under Mrs. Parkman's Academy of Needlework. And um, the first one, that, well, I'm not sure if it's going to be the first nor the second one. It depends. Um, I'm just putting some finishing touches to something. But in January, um, there's going to be two things released. And which comes first, I don't know at the moment. Um, in the fall of 2022, I gave a workshop at Hobby House Needleworks called Alas That Has Gone. And it was the beautiful um, Margaret Anderson sampler. It was this sampler. Sorry, I've had to put some extra lights on today. We are in the middle of the most awful storm and you may hear the rain and the wind throughout the video. So it was this sampler. Um, and I'm going to actually release the workshop that I gave, um, and it's something that you can participate in online, and you could be able to work this at your own pace. So this one will release as a lecture, come presentation, come workshop. Basically, what you will be getting is the same um, workshop that I gave to people who attended um, the actual workshop. Now that will be a paid for one, but there will be a free 
a lecture um, given online and it is the lecture that I gave when I released Sarah Millthorpe and Anne Campion at the Sampler Symposium last year at the Attic Needleworks. These two samplers will go on general release at um, the Sampler Symposium this year and there will be a online lecture available uh, free of charge and um, I will announce more details of those. The lecture will accompany the release of these two beautiful samplers. Now one of these samplers was stitched by a rich girl and the other was stitched by a poor girl. The girls led um, totally different lives and um, you need to guess which was the rich girl and which was the poor girl. We'll have some fun with that and more details will follow shortly. Um, learning it's a wonderful thing and um, there are some stitch alongs running at the moment um, or about to start at them uh, very soon for stitching samplers when you join a stitch along especially when a stitch along is well led um, you will learn so much not only from the stitch along leader but all the other participants of the stitch along. Janice at Traditional Stitches um, will be uh, starting to ship the booklets and kits for Anne Johnson um, in the weeks ahead. And this stitch along, I believe it starts in February, but I might not be right with that. And uh, the stitch along will be to stitch this stunning sampler, Anne Johnson, that was reproduced and stitched by Lisa Brown. Now the stitch along uh, leader for traditional stitches is Rose Heck, and she is a brilliant um, leader. Her and Janice release a video every month where they talk about the um, what's planned, uh, you know, stitching wise for the month ahead. They share their tips and tricks for the section. Um, so you get lots and lots of help um, to uh, stitch the sampler. And there is an active Facebook group as well. So if you would like to stitch a slightly larger sampler than you're used to. Um, this is one way of um, sort of keeping on track and completing the sampler, making friends as you go. Um, it's just, it's a really, really good way of getting to know other needle workers and achieving a finished sampler at the end of it. Um, the other little stitch along that's starting is a stitch in time saves nine. Now this was a little exclusive sampler that we've just released for a stitch in time in Tasmania and Carolyn is going to be running a stitch along for this little sampler and every needle worker should have a stitch in time saves nine on their sampler wall. It's such an apt little sampler for a needle worker. Um, okay, um, cards. I am amazed how these cards have come in. It's not long, we've got about six weeks and we would have um, reached the uh, a year from when I announced Letters for Europe, but the cards keep on coming in. The cards I'm going to read you this week, um, this is a very pretty little card actually, and there's details about it in the hand type notes inside. There's the card, beautiful watercolour. Um, Dear Nicola, happy belated birthday. I am shamelessly copying the idea of some other stitches to send you a typewritten note so that you can easily read this. My handwriting has seriously deteriorated over the years. So is mine. <laughs> 
You are so very thoughtful in sharing the joy of your birthday with all of us lucky enough to get your Letters for Europe box. I've thoroughly enjoyed each and every item that was enclosed in the box. I have been stitching for roughly 40 years and became fascinated by antique samplers about 20 years ago when there were very few reproductionists in the industry. In those days, blocks were the most prevalent way of sharing stitching progress. Back then, I followed Stitching by a Cornish Seashore faithfully. Oh, that's so nice. That was my blog. Um, that's how I started to share my needlework. Um, I was thrilled when Hands Across the Sea Samplers was launched and have been an avid collector of the hats charts since then. I actually have quite a few on the go. More recently, I have attended several retreats in which you've shared your knowledge of needlework techniques and antique samplers. Your kindness and generosity shine through these events. That's really kind of you to say that. Um, I'm enclosed in this note in a card from Picklockery, Scotland, which I visited earlier this year. My heritage is mostly Scottish and I find the Scottish lands and people very fascinating. I can't wait to go back. The remainder of my travels this year has been within the United States, mostly to various cross-stitch events. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, thank you so much. Personally, I find um, stitching events so rewarding. Even when I'm teaching, I feel as if I have come away um, with so much um, and even when you're teaching you learn from your students and you learn about yourself as well. Um, the other card is the beautiful uh, Martha Wormsley and we saw a finish of Martha this week. Um, the amazing Jo um, has finished um, her Martha and posted a photograph on social media. She's an amazing, prolific stitcher. That's a social media account that's well worth following um, to see some beautiful needlework. Let's have a look and see. Um, dearest Nicola, I hope you will forgive the typewritten note. It is important to me that you are able to read the note. Were it handwritten, I'm not sure you would be able to read it. What a pleasure it was to anticipate, receive and explore my letters from Europe box. The treasures within filled me with pure joy. The care which each item was presented spoke to me, spoke to me. Oh, spoke to my own personal sense, oh, but personal sense of attention to detail. I appreciated every little detail. It was clear that great thought and care went into the entire process. I have been doing all sorts of needlework or needle art since I was a child. I started cross stitching as a late teenager. It captured my heart and has kept it ever since. I have been blessed to take many classes that helped me refine my counted thread skills. I am also so fortunate through classes and retreats to make wonderful friends, so many of whom are still in my life today. As it is for so many, stitching has been a source of solace at difficult times and always a refuge for relaxation. Rarely is there a day that I do not put needle and thread to cloth. Something special happened when I pondered the samplers in the Letter for Europe box. I had a new creative urge to step out of my box and approach these beauties in a whole new way. Rarely have I been, rarely have I ma made even a small change to reproduction samplers. From all of this, my now treasured set of uh, Letters for Europe sampler pillows were born. I got started and every day I couldn't wait to finish my work and chores to get back to them. I set all my other projects aside to focus on them. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the inspiration. Your heart and dedication to reproduction samplers is a gift to the needlework world. I appreciate all that you do to share your love of samplers with us all with much gratitude and fondness. Thank you so much. That's a beautiful letter. Um, one sentence really gets me in this. 
it captured my heart and has kept it ever since. That's the way that we all feel when we discover the joy that we get from our needle. Um, stitching is the most wonderful uh, hobby and passion. And reproduction samplers for me um, are the icing on the cake when it comes to needlework. Um, looking forward to 2024, we've got some really beautiful samplers to release. Um, I was actually going through the samplers that we have completed the models, they're framed, they're photographed, just waiting to release. And there's over 30 samplers. <laughs> um, and I've got a pile of samplers I need to stretch and lace as well. Um, There's always that next sampler, that next little gem, the next Bobby Dazzler waiting to be reproduced and stitched. We'll never get fed up of reproduction samplers ever. Anyway, you are going to want to go for a walk, but it's very dangerous to go outside at the moment. We've had the most awful, awful weather. We were meant to go away on the 27th, but we never went. Um, there was the most awful storm on the night of the 26th and it knocked out a lot of our electricity, um, not just in the house, but in one of the cottages. So that was something we had to deal with on the 27th. And the weather was just so bad, we made the decision not to go. But that did mean that I got um, a lot of stitching in over the time that we were meant to be away. And um, if I apply myself tonight, that sampler I showed you, the beautiful floral border, I will finish tonight, um, but that depends. I'm in uh, a decluttering mode at the moment and there is a cupboard I want to tackle. And I don't know whether the cupboard is going to call me the most this afternoon or my sampler. And you get this video uploaded get these boys out and daddy's going to come to make sure that mummy doesn't blow away in this storm. And then it's either the cupboard or I'm going to start uh, stitching this afternoon. I'll definitely be stitching this evening though. Um, and whether when I release the sampler, it says 2023 or 2024 uh, will depend on that cupboard. <laughs> anyway, lots to look forward to. Mrs. Parkman's Needlework of Academy will be coming to you in 2024. And um, all I need to say now is I wish all of you a very happy and healthy new year and may your needles fly. Until next year, bye-bye.